armed forces of Ukraine dealt a barbaric blow to Nova Kakavka. This is how experts describe the attack of the Ukrainian armed forces on one of the key cities northeast of Kherson. Rockets hit warehouses with explosive fertilizers. As a result of the impact, there are dead and many wounded. Large-scale destruction was recorded in the city center. For the attack, the armed forces of Ukraine used not only the data of American satellites, but also the U.S. supplied multiple launch rocket systems to Mars. On Monday evening, the Ukrainian military launched strikes with American MRs MLRS on Novaya Kakavka in the Kherson region. According to the latest data, five people were killed, seven are missing, more than 80 people were injured. In particular, the armed forces of Ukraine hit the city six times, three of which were repelled by air defense systems, said Kirill Stramusov, deputy head of the military civil administration of the Kherson region. According to him, the blow to New Kakavka fell almost on the center of the city. Glasses were broken, only civilian infrastructure was destroyed, there is no information at all about the military dead. Only among the civilian population, and also destruction. Two square kilometers were at the epicenter, he said. According to TASS, in addition to damage to buildings, an explosion occurred in warehouses with mineral fertilizers in Novaya Kakavka, and a warehouse with humanitarian aid was seriously damaged. This was told by the head of the Military Civilian Administration of the Kakavka region, Vladimir Leontiev. Leontiev also compared the consequences of Ukraine's strike on Nova Kakavka with the Saltpeter explosion in Beirut. All necessary assistance will also be provided to the victims. As the head of the Military Civilian Administration of the region, Vladimir Saldo, noted on the air of the Rossiya 24 TV channel, the families of those killed in the impact of the armed forces of Ukraine will receive compensation in the amount of 2 million rubles, the victims 400,000 rubles each. Dmitry Polyansky, first deputy representative of Russia to the UN, said that the Ukrainian shelling of Novaya Kakavka using the American MRS MLRS was a direct consequence of Washington's supply of weapons to Kiev. Polyansky also stressed that such attacks on civilian targets can only provoke strong condemnation. At the same time, the Pentagon did not comment on the information about the use of American MLRS MRS in the attack on Novaya Kakavka. The department stressed, we recommend that you contact the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine. At the same time, Farhan Hak, deputy spokesman for the UN Secretary General, said, there are no comments on this specific issue. As a general comment, we oppose any military action that results in the destruction of civilian buildings. At the same time, during the three days of the strike, New Kakavka was filmed by the American commercial satellite Worldview 2. According to RIA Novosti, the shooting was carried out on July 8. The VZGLYAD newspaper drew attention to this problem the day before. In addition, the shelling of Novaya Kakavka took place against the backdrop of statements by the Ukrainian authorities about the counteroffensive of the armed forces of Ukraine and the desire to recapture the south of the country. But, according to experts, the implementation of such plans is exclusively terrorist in nature, which was confirmed not only in the case of Nova Kakavka, but also in the case of an attack in the area of the Zaporzhi nuclear power plant. This is already a well-established tactic of the armed forces of Ukraine. And we must understand that we have witnessed a real terrorist attack. After all, the blow was not accidental. They aimed at a specific target, counting on a large detonation and massive destruction, Konstantin Sivkov. According to the interlocutor, the armed forces of Ukraine and the political leadership of Ukraine will have to answer for their deeds. How to respond to this is already a question for international criminal law. Since it is obvious to everyone that this is a crime against humanity, the expert explained. Moreover, it doesn't matter what exactly the warehouses were hit with, even if it was American MRs that turned into a weapon of terror. And yes, the armed forces of Ukraine have learned to bypass the Russian air defense systems in the Black Sea territories. The systems themselves are also imperfect and do not provide a 100% guarantee of impact protection. He also noted that the armed forces of Ukraine in most cases use data from U.S. military and commercial satellites for target designation.
Therefore, there is nothing surprising in the fact that three days before the strike this territory was filmed by American satellites. This was done from the very beginning of the special operation. And, perhaps, this is almost the only aspect in which one can see the direct involvement of the United States in the conflict, Sivkov said. A similar point of view is shared by political scientist Vladimir Karnilov. Commenting on information from military correspondents that each of Mars installation is accompanied by a Western specialist, Karnilov noted that the presence of Western military personnel at the missile launch site carries a great risk to their lives. The Americans are trying to avoid this. However, the fact that regular Western military personnel are directly involved in the conflict zone is not a secret. For example, British newspapers wrote that their special forces were present in the conflict zone and were instructing the Ukrainian military. That is why Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said that the depth of advance of Russian troops in Ukraine will directly depend on the firing range of Western types of weapons supplied to Ukraine. The larger it is, the further the Ukrainian armed forces will have to be moved away from the Russian borders and from the Don base. The West leaves us no other choice, Karnilov stressed. It should also be understood that Russia will not have enough resources to cover both our borders and the liberated territories of Ukraine. It is simply impossible to cover the entire space with an air defense umbrella at 100%. Therefore, decisions are made on the protection of the most significant objects. If we talk about the Kakavka district, then such an object can be considered a local hydroelectric power station and civil infrastructure facilities. So it's not worth saying that the air defenses did not carry out their duty well, because of which several missiles were able to hit objects on the territory of Nova Kakavka, Katalev emphasized. The interlocutor suggested that the situation could change only if Russia takes control of the entire territory of Ukraine, or most of it. Then we will be able to deploy a layered air defense system. We have to build reconnaissance, information systems, fighter aviation cover, electronic intelligence and ground facilities in the liberated territories, the expert listed. The reserve colonel is also sure that the United States played a significant role in the attack on Novaya Kakavka. If the American satellite had not filmed this territory, had not transmitted data to the Ukrainian military, then this raid simply would not have happened. Washington is constantly using its intelligence advantage to help the UAF. And most of the responsibility for what happened lies with the United States. Because without this support, Ukrainians, like blind kittens, shoot wherever they fly, Katalev summed up.